Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So today I'm going to be using a tall skinny mold and trying a new fragrance. I've seen several people use it and I've been kind of curious about it. It's Berry Merry Christmas from Nature's Garden. It smells fantastic. Now once I got it, I realized it smells very similar to one that I've used for years, which is Alpine Frost from Crafter's Choice. So when I use the tall skinny mold, I have to do two batches. So what I would decided to do is to do two batches. They're both going to be really similar though, so I'm just going to record the one. Today is the one we'll be using the Nature's Garden Berry Merry Christmas. I'm going to use just three colors, white titanium dioxide. The green will be pine mica from Be Scented. And the red, of course, is trial by fire from Nurture Soap. This one, if I don't forget, if I don't forget, you all know I'm bad about that. I'm going to do the hanger swirl, and then I'll do some piping on top. And then the one with the Alpine Frost, I know it behaves well, so I will do just a traditional drop swirl with it. This one, Nature's Garden says, has no issues at all, but some people said it accelerated really fast. <clears throat> So when I try a new fragrance, I always hand stir it in anyway. So I'm just going to hand stir it and see how it goes. So that's enough talk. Let me get set up and get things mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready. I went ahead and put the colorants in, but it's just floating on top because they have to be stick blended. The titanium dioxide and the red pigment definitely have to be stick blended. And I want them all to be equally stick blended. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend the mic in just the same. <laughs> Lightest to darkest, I think. Probably the green is next. And then our red. fragrance and pour it. And this fragrance has a very high usage rate so I know this whole bottle will equal about six percent so I can use the entire bottle in the batch. Although I never would do it I could safely go way higher but with the effort rate. So we'll save that for a frosting. I'm just going to hand stir this in. I'm having no issues at all with it. In fact, I'm going to give it a real quick blast because it's a little on the thin side. Just a quickie. That's about a good consistency because titanium dioxide tends to set up a little faster anyway. So let's get started pouring this. Stick this in front of me. Maybe I won't forget it. We'll see. I'm just going to do a regular traditional drop pour. It's behaving just fine.
I'm making a horrific mess, but it's doing just fine. Getting a little thick now, but it's workable. And guess what I remembered? It's a little thick now. I guess I should have just stuck with the hand stirring, but even with the stick blending, it's workable. So yeah, I'm pleased with it so far. So let me just kind of clean this up a little bit and level that top off so it has a nice surface for frosting. There we go, and I will bring us back when I'm ready for the frosting, so I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, I am back, and it's time to cut our soap, and so far really pleased with it. All I'm seeing is the red and the white. The green, I guess, is on the inside. I'm glad I went ahead and put the gold on the top, the gold drizzle on top. So the fragrance behaved overall pretty well. It did get a little thick at the end, if you saw, but it was manageable. However, however, I hand stirred it into the frosting and I had to wait 15 minutes for it to set up to frosting consistency. So you hand stir it, it should give you plenty of time to work. And it does smell good, I have to give it that. Yeah, nice and Christmassy. Okay, these are all going to look pretty much the same, so I'll finish cutting these off camera. So, to either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to make another one very similar without the hanger swirl, and I'm going to use the Alpine Frost from Crafter's Choice, and then I'll see which one I like better. Now, I'm not going to film that one, but I will film the cutting. So, I will see you in a little while for you guys with another soap to cut, and we'll compare the two and see what I think. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, I'm back. It's time to cut our second soap. So remember, I didn't film making this one. I'm doing two different fragrances with a similar pour. This one, I did use chrome green oxide instead of the pine green, and I like the chrome green better. I just didn't have enough for both batches. This one, I started doing really thin, quick pours on the drop pour, trying to get some like smaller droplets, and it started out beautifully, going great. About halfway through, it started getting thick on me. And I've used this fragrance for years, but I've always done a much quicker pour. And I even hand stirred it in. I didn't, stand the, didn't stick blend the fragrance at all, but it got really thick. So I had to put much quicker, bigger drops in. And I didn't want two different types of pour, so I went ahead and did the hanger swirl in this one as well. And by the time I scooped it into the mold and did the hanger swirl, it was really thick. So I'm not sure what we're going to have inside, but let's cut it and find out. So the design started the way I wanted. didn't end that way. It still looks good, though. Pretty similar to the last one. It looks like a typical hanger swirl. And like the last, but I think these are all going to look pretty much the same. So I'll finish cutting this off camera and get some pictures. So here is the one I made yesterday with the Berry Merry Christmas from Nature's Garden. And then this is the one I made today with Alpine Frost by Crafter's Choice. So they're pretty similar. A different green. I like this green better. And I will let you know just before Christmas, and I give these out which fragrance I like the best. So that's what I have today. As always, thank you for watching. And next week is Thanksgiving. And I hope you all have a very special and gracious Thanksgiving. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take good care of yourselves and be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.